I'm Big Will Evanson, and it's time to talk sports. Another Tuesday night, another big night in high school sports on the Western Slope. The Palisade softball team was in action tonight against the Rifle Bears, a heavyweight matchup between two teams off to a great start this season. This one over at CMU, and we got off to a blazing hot start in this one. Top of the first for Rifle, Hadley Diaz smacks this to left, and it brings in Emma Speakman. And after just two batters, Rifle goes up one to nothing. Later in the first, Zoe Heisel hits this ball deep to center, and in comes not one, but two Bears to make it three to nothing. Same inning, ball rolls just past Kenzie Gray, who slipped on the pitch, but the throw to first is not in time. Another run scores. It's 4 nothing rifle. Now up 5 to nothing. Ryland Petrie lines this ball through right. And guess what? Yep, another bear comes home. It's 6 nothing rifle. Still in the top of the first. But the Bulldogs have finally had enough as Petrie tries to steal second. But it's a heck of a throw. And Petrie is out. Bulldogs finally end the inning. Down six, spot them first now and the Bears can play defense too. What a grab on, a, on the line drive here by Brooklyn Milius for out number one. Same inning, same score. The pitcher, Kenzie Gray, hits this one on the left. It goes right by the center fielder. And the throw here from Brooklyn Dennis goes into the Bulldog dugout. And Elizabeth Fleming doesn't know what to do. Should I stay or should I go? Well, the ball is in the dugout. Yep, you may pass go and collect $200. That's an easy first score for the Bulldogs. Now down 6-2, to two, Michaela Moreland drops this ball into center. Melanie Valdez heads home, and Ellie Dor is safe at third. Next batter, Alizé Martinez. Quintana gets an infield base hit, and in comes Dor to make it 6-4. to four. But the Rifle Bears had seen enough and put an end to a hectic first inning up 6-4 to four on the Bulldogs. Could Palisade come back in this one? Well, no, they could not. Rifle hangs, hangs on 14-12 to 12 as those two extra runs in the first proved to be the difference. The Bears get their 10th win of the year. Boy, what a start for them. Next up, Rifle will host Cedar Ridge on Thursday and Palisade heads to, heads to Delta one week from tonight. Earlier, we told you about a big Cross Valley showdown in soccer between Fruta and Central, but due to overscheduling at CMU, that one has been postponed. But across the way from CMU at Stoker Stadium tonight, we had the 27th annual Valley of the Bands extravaganza. And the fans of the bands absolutely packed the house at Stoker tonight. Just look at this crowd. Not a single empty seat in the house. And here is the Fruta Band putting on a show and the crowd absolutely loved it. All four Valley bands came out tonight to showcase their talents and continue to practice before regional and soon state and national competition begins next week.